I'm Callie Lewis, you're watching Geek Brief TV, and this is my top 10 list of favorite gadgets for 2009. The idea of taking something that's been around longer than Larry King and really rethinking and re-engineering it to make it radically different in form, but as good or better in functionality is something that really appeals to me. Number 10 on my list of favorite gadgets for 2009 is the Dyson Air Multiplier. It has no visible blades, just a simple ring that pulls air through it and multiplies at its speed up to 15 times. It's safer, easier to clean, and to me, beautiful. When we're talking cameras, there are cameras for work and cameras for play. My favorite camera for play is number nine on my list of favorite gadgets for 2009, the Olympus EP-1. It's a micro four thirds camera that's essentially a hybrid between a DSLR and a pocketable point and shoot. Still images are 12.3 megapixels and you can change the lenses. It shoots HD video and has art filters that apply different effects as you take photos and the art filters just make it really fun to use. In 2009, I talked quite a bit about what I call change your life technology. There are three things on my top 10 that have done that for me this year, and number eight on my list is one of the three, the pogo plug. When we travel, we carry along portable hard drives, but inevitably we end up needing a file or two that isn't on the portable. No worries, we have everything on a Drobo connected to a pogo plug, and all I have to do is log into the pogo plug website and grab what I need from home. Pogo plug has changed my life. If I asked you all to say in unison what my favorite camera of all time is, I think you'd say the Canon 5D Mark II, right? I love it because it's the first camera that ever inspired me to want to take pictures and learn about photography. I also love it because it enabled us, before it was stolen in New York, to shoot gorgeous HD video with different lenses and get different quality shots. In 2009, Canon introduced the 7D and it's number seven on my list because it brings the same video capability to market for about half the price of the 5D Mark II. The iPhone 3GS is number six on my list. It brought speed and video functionality to the iPhone, and even though its functionality was crippled by the app approval process, Apple's feud with Google, and AT&T's network problems, it provides a great user experience because of thousands of great applications and games that make each iPhone special and unique for the person who owns it. I love reading, and I love reading on the Amazon Kindle. The first generation Kindle changed the way I read and how many books I read at a time, but it had design flaws and limitations that needed to be fixed, and fix them Amazon did when it released Kindle 2 early in 2009. Kindle 2 is number five on my list of favorite gadgets from 2009, and with recent firmware upgrades that extended battery life, added PDF support, and a lower price, Kindle 2 is even better than when it was first released. Amazon further improved the experience by keeping books synced between Kindles, the Kindle iPhone app and the Kindle desktop reader. Like I said in my review of the Nokia Booklet 3G on Brief 681, it's the first netbook I've used that's a pleasure to use. It's solidly built, and where other netbook trackpads leave me frustrated to the point I'd rather just not use them at all, the Booklet 3G has a great trackpad, a great screen, a great keyboard, and great solid feeling construction. Number four on my list for 2009 is the Nokia Booklet 3G. Number three on my favorite gadget list of 2009 falls into the change your life technology category. It saves me time dealing with bills, paperwork, taxes, and business cards. It makes some of life's least compelling chores almost pleasant. The neat desk is something that has changed my life and is without a doubt the only thing on this list I think every house needs. It scans in bills, receipts, contact information, and automatically organizes all the data into spreadsheets. I love it. Data Robotics released the Drobo Pro, the Drobo Elite, and the Drobo S in 2009. The Elite is the first Drobo that exceeds our needs, so we haven't tried it. For most people wanting a protected data solution, the basic Drobo or Drobo S is probably the right solution, but this is a list of my favorite gadgets of 2009, and therefore, I have to put Drobo Pro in the number two spot. It's the first time we've ever been able to put all the files ever created for Geek Brief TV in one place, and the benefits of having a copy of everything collected in one location are immense. Once again, technology that's changed my life this year. I asked you guys to tweet me your favorite gadgets of 2009, and your number one choice was a tie between the iPhone 3GS and my choice. My favorite gadget of 2009 is the Motorola Droid. Together with Google and Verizon, the maker of the Razer gave us something to talk about other than Apple in 2009. It has an amazing screen. We loved listening to podcasts on it because it has very loud speakers, and we could listen to shows as we cooked in the kitchen. Beyond that, Android 2.0's integration with Google Voice probably doesn't matter to most of the world, but it's a huge big deal to me. It also did something very well that every mobile device that makes calls should do. It let me make clear, wonderful-sounding phone calls without dropped signals. 
Thanks so much for watching Geek Brief TV in 2009. I appreciate it whether you get involved with the conversation on Twitter and comments at the geekbrief.tv website or if you just watch passively on your TiVo or iPod. 2010 is going to be an interesting year. You'll have to watch to find out why. I'm Callie Lewis and I wish you a happy, healthy, and prosperous 2010. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You want to marry it. <laughs> I love it. I want to marry it.